um, today, today we're playing our painting with our paint set up boxes that I showed you last time. And we're here up near Estes Park and it's about four o'clock in the afternoon or so and I'm here with my friend Annette and we're just painting this little path right here up the mountain. And right now I'm blocking in my colors, so I'll check back with you when my painting's a little farther along, okay? We'll see you later. Bye. This is my friend Annette, and she is um, blocking in her color. She is more an expressionistic, kind of impressionistic. Impressionistic. That's what I would say, yes. Yes. But she's very expressive also. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not in front of the camera, but usually. <laughs> <laughs> so here's her little painting. Right. I haven't gotten too far. Not as blocked in as Sean's, but we're working on it. And she's the one who made my little Prashad box set up. And you can see she made herself one also. And it works really well. I've got the holes for the, for the brushes. My palette fits nicely in there. I've, I'm right in here, and then I've got a mixing area right here if I want. Got this clip to got my my uh, paint cleaner down here. So this is like the perfect setup for painting. So how much do you think this cost you? Well, this was actually pretty cheap. The cigar box was two bucks each, so that's four dollars. And then the few little things that I bought for it, maybe five to six dollars total. Wow. And usually if you wanted to buy one, they would be about 50 to $60. So I think I got a good deal. So do you recommend this for someone to, to maybe make their own before they go spend money on an expensive one? Absolutely. And it doesn't take much. I mean, I don't have really that great of skills. If you have a drill, you can drill the drill. But we just use binder clips to hold it. We took the box apart, drilled the holes, and these hold really well. It holds the... The, the two side elements to it and I just clipped a paper towel to the front people actually use rolls but this is plenty for me I don't need a lot so it works really well and then I've got this I had a hook on the bottom so that's where I put my water and my you can actually hang it off this if you wanted I do have a clip for that but I find it's kind of handy to have it down there so it works really well and how is your box attached to the tripod I have a tripod mount but I just spent I just bought a it's like a little screw that you just screw right in it's a quarter inch, and um, I just put my tripod mount on it, and then put it back on. So cool. you know you don't have to. If you want, you can go buy the Gorilla tripod mount, but that's like twenty bucks. So I only spent less than a dollar. So I think that's a pretty good deal. Awesome. I wanted to show you a little trick. Um, is it's especially helpful for plein air painting because you end up with so much paint on the canvas. Sometimes it smears around. And I'm going to put, be putting some grayish white aspens in here. So this is my um, paint removal tool. And so what you do is you just, it's rubber, and you just kind of pull it along, and you remove the paint where you don't want it to be. And this one's pretty thick, but I'm just going to scrape some paint off so that I can put um, my aspens that are in the foreground here. So I can put them in, and you're able to see them. So... That's a cool little tool, and they come in all kinds of different sizes and different shapes. <laughs> 